Like it smells like rich people, so. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I will be reviewing my January boxy charm. I know that I am hella late on my boxy charm review. However, I did just re-sign up for BoxyCharm. I did a video months ago or last year that basically said I was done with BoxyCharm. I wasn't going to go back, but I did go back and I will explain in the video why I did, but I did want to kind of review the products in there and give you guys my thoughts on it. So if you guys are interested in my thoughts on the products in the box, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom of this video and we will get right into it. All right guys, so like I said in the beginning, this is January's box. I have February's on its way, but I wanna tell you guys kind of why I went back to BoxyCharm. I know I did a video basically saying I was done with them and I discontinued my subscription. So one of the reasons is because I have so much makeup because I am a beauty influencer, whatever you wanna call me, um, a re product reviewer. So I have so much makeup, whether I buy it or it's sent to me or given to me, whatever the case may be, I just have so much of it. And then I felt like BoxyCharm just wasn't doing it anymore. Like I was just getting a bunch of stuff that I never really used. So I discontinued it because I was paying for the Boxy Lux and the BoxyCharm. However, I got an email in my inbox that said, hey, if you sign back up for BoxyCharm, we'll give you this palette for free. And this is a Violet Voss Essentials palette, which I was like, free palette? If I just pay the $20, okay, I'm in. So I signed back up and I was going to cancel right after I signed up. I know, I just wanted the free palette. But then I was like, you know what? Let me give them another try. I know that they've changed a lot of things. So that's what I did. So I did sign up and I am gonna stay for a couple of months just to try to test it out again, test the waters with the premium, see how I like it, what's the deal, has it changed, has it gotten better, we shall see. So stick around and I will let you know. However, I do wanna let you guys know I did this look with most of the products in my BoxyCharm. A couple of things on my face are not BoxyCharm related and I will put everything that I have on my face down in the description box to save time. So the first thing that I wanna go over is shipping. BoxyCharm, if you're watching this, one of the reasons I stopped last year was because it takes so long for my package to get to me. So they charged me on the 27th. I just got this box today. It is the 5th? The 5th of February. So the 27th of January to the 5th of February. So the first thing we're gonna go over is gonna be the free palette from Violet Voss. So this palette totals or subtotals for $29 on the Violet Voss website. So it was more than the box itself. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna sign up. However, I immediately regretted that decision. So this didn't come in a box. It came in like this. So you know how you get a unicarton for your palettes? It didn't come with that and I really hate that. So if anyone from BoxyCharm is seeing this, for sanitary purposes, you guys have got to provide a box for stuff like this because if this would have slid open at any point during shipping, it, it could have gotten bacteria in it, it could have gotten anything in it, and it just, for me, is kind of like a, I don't know that I wanna use this. These both came in a manila envelope, so yes, they can't get separated, but at the same time, this is floating around in there open, and here's the other problem. So I open it, because I was testing my lighting to see how the color would do, and just make sure you know it looks good, and I go like this, and two of them fell out. <laughs> So that pisses me off because you can't put these back in. This is glue. So I will have to have hot glue and do it myself, which I will. It's not a big deal. I, I just, this is like one of the reasons I stopped buying BoxyCharm because some of the products just come shit quality, excuse my language, but it really, really irritates me. And it's like, yeah, I am getting this stuff at a discounted price. However, I'm still a consumer and you should still be sending me product that is not trash free or not. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch a couple of these that really caught my eye, and it's gonna be this green one, Emerald, Plumberry, and then Pink. It's a very generic name, isn't it? I did not use this one today, I will tell you that. Um, I used the other palette that is actually in the box itself. 
So anything emerald and purple are like my jam. I will tell you that. So those are actually really, really pretty colors. Um, they seem to go on very nicely. They're very pigmented and they're not very chalky at all. So I do like that. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna test like one or two mattes just so I have like a kinda feel on how it is. Violet Voss palettes are pretty nice. One of my favorite was the Holy Grail one. I just parted with that because I don't really use it anymore. So, but I really never had any issues with their shadows. Their shadows are always pretty pigmented, pretty blendable. So I'm gonna go in with the terracotta, the cinnamon, and then the black. Another very, very natural name. And also I will tell you for the terracotta, it's more orange. So those, and obviously, the black is going to need to be swatched, but I'm going to swatch them all a couple of times. So those are pretty pigmented as well, and they don't seem very patchy, which is nice. But I just, for me, these colors are just kind of bland. So I don't know that I would really go, oh my gosh, I really need this palette. But again, it was free. So I was like, free palette, yes please. There's a little fallout in this pan. I will definitely go ahead and get a look after I fix this palette up for you guys on Instagram, and I will let you know my thoughts in detail on it. So let's get to the box. I really do love this look. So it comes like this, and obviously these are all been used. And this is BoxyCharm Breaking the Ice, and it has everything in here as usual and the prices. So the first thing I'm gonna go into is the Too Faced Diamond Light Diamond Fire Highlighter. Um, I honestly am not a fan. I, I mean at all. I think the packaging is cute. This one is Fancy Pink Diamond. Like it comes like a, a ring. It's cute. I like it for cute purposes and I will probably display it. But as for like actually using this product, um, I did a TikTok with it and you guys can head over there. The link is in my description. I barely have a shine and I had to dig into this. Like it looks like I took it to the mill. I don't know if you can see that with the way the lighting is, but it just, it, it's not. And I should have known because when BoxyCharm did their swatching on TikTok, I was like super excited, but it's just very not, it's not a blinding highlight. It's really not even like a highlight highlight. I had to, like, if you look, I have a little bit, but I had to like dig into this palette. It looks like I used it so much. Like I'm trying to get you guys to see how much I used it. Like there's so much around because I had to dig and dig and dig. So this for me was kind of like a fail. I, I just wasn't a fan. I'm not really the biggest fan of Too Faced products. They're just not the best quality anymore. They used to be really, really good, but a lot of their stuff is kind of just like, meh. So this is $36. I mean, it, it pays for the box and then some, but I just was not a fan. So this one is not gonna be one that I would recommend to you guys. So the next one that I did use, and obviously I have false lashes on, so I did not use this little gadget. This is the Trey Steak. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Trey Trustic, Trey Steak, Trustic Good Vibes Mascara. So the name itself is pretty cool because we're all about good vibes here, but this little death trap, I'm not putting that on my eyelashes. I'm just not. One, I'm not an eyelash curler kind of gal because I, I don't know, I get a little timid about it, so I'm not gonna do that. But I will tell you that the mascara itself was actually pretty fantastic. It is very black. It coated my lashes and my fake lashes together perfectly, and then it coated the bottom pretty well. Um, I've had this on for a little bit, and it doesn't seem to be flaking down underneath, so that is a plus. This is a $25 mascara. I think that you can use L'Oreal Voluminous and get the same look, so I'm not going to recommend this either. Um, I, I don't really have anything negative to say other than the death trap that they attached to the top of it, but I just feel like a lot of lower priced, lower end, I don't want to say lower quality because they're actually amazing quality, but lower end mascaras give you that same effect without being $25. So the next thing is the Avent Avant, it's probably fancy, Avant Shea Butter Rice Brand 
Panthenol Polydense Age Radiance. It's an eight hour radiance renewal sleeping mask. So obviously I have not tried this one yet because well, I'm not sleeping and I also have makeup on. <laughs> so I will be trying this one and again, I will also post this either on my TikTok or my Instagram or mention it on later videos, but I do try all these products and let you guys know what I think about it. So it is a cream. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this here. Ooh, ooh, it's thick. Oh my God, it smells really good too. Oh, this is nice and thick. Oh my gosh, I think I'm gonna love this. It smells really, really fancy. Like it smells luxurious. Like I'm somebody more important than I actually am. <laughs> I will tell you that. Like it smells like rich people. So I kid, I kid, I kid. But for real, it does smell really good. So this retails for $107. Okay, that's why it smells like rich people. Because it's for rich people. Um, what? Okay, so I did have a minor heart attack there. It's fine. I'm fine. You're fine. A hundred and seven dollars. I really hope that this is not a full size and I'm going to Google it right now to find out if it is. Okay, so I'm on their website and for the, the original container is this, but it's still 50 milliliters, which is 1.69 fluid ounces for $107. So this is in a completely different container, but it's the same product in the same amount, and this is $107. This is the most expensive skincare item I own. I did not pay for it, thank God, but it's the most expensive skincare product I own. So if you guys wanna see if this really works and how it works, let me know below, and I will come back and let you guys know, or I'll tell you on Saturday on my live how I feel about it. I'm gonna use it tonight. And, and very small amounts because $107 of it. But, hello, we're already well over the box. The box was $20. $107, $36, dollars Like, come on, we have already tripled, quadrupled. I'm not doing any more math than that. The box. <laughs> so the next thing is the Wonder Beauty. And this is the Trip for Two Blush and Bronzer Duo. So I do have this blush on. I do not have this bronzer on. <laughs> Let me tell you why. So the reason I do not have this bronzer on is because, well, even though I've told BoxyCharm my shade, another reason why I stopped buying their box is they sent me this. This is lighter than my skin tone. Boxy Charm. I could probably use it for a setting powder, but definitely not a bronzer. Like I could probably use it actually as an all over setting powder. Either way, I'm gonna try that, but it's just, that is not my color at all. So if you are a person of color, or if you have even slightly tan to medium skin tone or deep skin tone, you're not gonna be able to use this. So if you got this box, and you got this um, trip for two, go ahead and comment below and let me know if you got a different shade. These are my colors, these are my shades that I received in my box. If you got different ones, let me know. But the blush was really nice. And again, the bronzer, that was ashy. I was unable to use. And the blush was like, it's, I had to like cake it on. If you see that, you can barely see it on my skin tone. So enough said about that one. Um, I will keep it because I did like the blush and once I caked it on my face, you were able to see it. So you know, as long as I use half the palette, I'm fine. Bullshit. Okay, and this retails for $36. So the last thing that I got in here is the Ace Beauty Vintage Dawn palette. I've only ever had one other palette from them and it was okay. Um, it was very like warm tone, reds and mauve, or not mauves, maroons. So I just didn't really go to it, but it, there wasn't anything wrong with it, I feel like. So this is the palette that I used on this eye look. And I will show you the colors that I used. So you did get a mirror in here and this one does retail for $34.99 and boom honestly it's fantastic it reminds me of that one viseart 
palette if you know what I'm talking about I don't know the name of it but that's what this reminds me of and the colors remind me of and honestly this palette did fantastic on my eyes like fantastic I used daybreak cactus sky and do I just put over with my finger and then sun on my inner corner which kind of had a little bit more green because the look is blue so that was a little bit hard for me I wanted to do like these reds but I knew that like that is just my typical go-to so I was like screw that I'm going blue I'm going green I'm going yellow so that's what I did I do like these the blue was a little patchy but it is a very pigmented blue so keep that in mind because a lot of really really pigmented colors are going to be a little bit patchy or have a little bit more fallout but once I blended it together honestly it was fantastic let me zoom you guys in so you can get a closer look hello all right so if you see here so do what I did was I put the yellow as a transitiony color and then I put the blue in the crease and blended it out and then I put that dew, that shimmer light blue on the lid. And then I put blue under here, which is sky. Sky is that dark blue. And then daybreak is the yellow. And then I used the green cactus to blend these two together. So it wasn't so harsh because I knew that the blue and the yellow were going to be green anyways. So I just took advantage and I put some freaking green there. And then underneath I did that sky again. And then in the corner I did the sun, which was that super gold color which I'm gonna show you like this so you can actually see it because the problem is because I put it on with green, you really cannot. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch that. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch a couple of the other shimmers. So we have Serengeti, Golden Hour. Did I just, yeah, I crossed right over them. <laughs> and then Gleam. So those are really, really, really pretty. Excuse me on the swatches because holy shit, that looks like crap. Sorry for my language, but they are, they're beautiful. And literally I did not have to use any liquid or like setting spray to get that dew color to stick. I literally just used my finger and dabbed it on there and then blended that sky in the crease again, just to make it more sharp but I really, really love this palette. And without trying that super expensive sleep mask, this is most definitely my favorite item in this freaking box. So, but that is the last item. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on over and do our final thoughts on this box. Yes, okay. So I was impressed by several things. I was very impressed by this palette. It's a $35 palette and I have palettes that are way over that that um, don't impress me as much as this one did, especially with the blues especially with the yellow. Those are very hard colors to master in a palette. So I think that they did a fantastic job with this. It came with its unicarton, so I love that. Um, disappointed, this is what it is. Um, I wish the BoxyCharm would be more concerned about my skin tone, so that way I could actually use the whole product instead of just half of it. This was pretty nice, and it's called Good Vibes Mascara. I mean, you can't even be mad at it. You say the name, and you're like, oh, God, I love it. And then this fancy guy. I am actually really impressed that they have something so extravagant and expensive in here, and I really do want to try this because I have super, super dry skin, and I'm hoping that overnight it will just, like, soak it and make it so hydrated and creamy and smooth. We'll see. So all in all, I'd have to say that I really did enjoy this box. The total of this whole box comes to $238.99, and that is not including the $25 palette I got for free, although it came broken. Do I have a couple issues with BoxyCharm that I wish that they would address? Sure. Will they probably ever change that? No. Um, will I be keeping going with it? Yes. As for right now, so stay tuned, because I might change my mind. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope you got a lot out of it and how I felt about BoxyCharm. So as always, guys, make sure you comment below and let me know what your favorite thing was, either out of your own BoxyCharm box or mine, and give this video a big thumbs up, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!